Hey, all you true believers over there in the union, Bob Taylor coming at you from Atomic City Comics on South Street in Philadelphia for New Comic Book Wednesdays, episode number 221. A little series I do here each week, just showing you all the new books that are coming out, things that I think are important, any new cons coming up, new toys hitting comic shops, so on and so forth. We're going to get this started. I got a lot to show you today. Oh my God, Diana Rios is going to freak out so many awesome pops. Um, but before I start... Just so you guys know, if any of you guys are going to be out there, tonight is Star Wars night. It says since Bank Park at the Phillies game. Come on out and see me. I'll be there taking pictures all night long. I even do free autographs. All right. <laughs> um, we're going to get this started. Like Dan Danny J, what's up? Like I said, we're going to get this started. Danny J, since I mentioned Danny J, come check us out on YouTube with Danny J Productions. Uh, we've been uploading all my videos each week there to the YouTube channel. And now you can go back and see a lot of the older episodes that you may have missed out on. Also, there's a lot, a lot of other people there who do podcasts and under the same network. So check us out. It's awesome. Diana Rios, Ed Schumacher, Todd Voigt. All right, let's get this started. All right, first, as I said in the opening, and I love both of these. This is my time. This was the time that I grew up. All right, but I have a special love for the Bionic Woman. All right, because I was a huge Bionic Man fan. I collect all the toys. I have everything. Everything except for being a space probe, unfortunately. But anyway, Charlie's Angels versus Bionic Woman number one is out today, guys. Awesome book. Awesome artwork. Really cool. I love it when they mix genres like this from back in the day. Artwork is really cool. Nice, big, bold panels. Nice splash pages. Really cool, guys. All right. Check this out. Look at this. Look, I love I love that. Like the half and half. That's dope. All right. So check that out, guys. This is your recommended read of the week. All right. Next. Loki number one is out today. Looks very cool. Got the hammer in the background. Dope. Ed Schumacher, Todd Boyd, Tom Ratchabinsky. What's up? All right. This one. For all you guys over there in Oh You Didn't Know and Ringside Champions, those are both Union Network groups. You can find all of the Union Network groups from the Toy Caravan homepage and check out all. We have a ton of groups, guys. All right. Well, this one is out. It's called Steel Cage. All right. Three comics enter, one comic leaves. All right. Beautiful card stock on this, too. Amazing. All right. Nice artwork. Beautiful, bold colors. Really digging this book. All right, guys, so check that out. Steel Cage is out today. All right. Next, this is your best cover of the week. All right, I always tell you guys about how awesome the, the Aquaman covers have been getting. Better and better and better every month. And the stories inside of them are dope, too. But this one, absolutely. Aquaman number 50, The Return of Black Manta. All right. And that is such an awesome cover. So cool. Who do you think did the artwork for this wonderful cover? My boy. All right. Got to be Alex Ross. All right. Now, this next book I'm going to show you guys, The Superior Spider-Man number nine. All right. The reason this caught my, my attention and the reason I'm showing it to you is because I know it's Norman Osborn on the cover, all right? But tell me he does not look like Negan, all right? From the Walking Dead comics. So crazy. Mr. Bionic Woman, yeah, it was awesome. You can watch all that stuff late night on TV Land, just so you guys know. They re replay all that stuff, Bionic Woman, Star Trek, all these heroes. I love that channel. All right, next. I've been showing you guys each, each week they've been doing reprints of older comics that have been coming out well this week i have two for you all right the first one is howard the duck meets spider-man the next one now i showed you this one a couple weeks ago the reason i'm showing it to you again remember what i said all number ones stay on the wall for the whole month just so you guys know well this is the new one for this week all right this is a number one giant size reprint of x-men and I love this, guys. This is the stuff that I say is good shit reading material. All right. When you're going to be in there for a while. Because this is a nice, thick book, guys. Beautiful. I love this stuff. They do. It's all the old artwork. Even all the old ads. You know, pump yourself up. Don't get sand kicked in your face. This is awesome, guys. So check that out. All right. Also, each week, 
Michael Woodard and I get together in the morgue and we show you that horror comics do still exist. Well, this week I have a nice one, a nice thick one, another nice shit reading material book. All right, nice, super thick. All right, this is Die, 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 the first volume trade paperback, guys. Nice and thick. All right, and this is your morgue book of the week. All right. Now, each week Scotty Williams and I get together at, for the cantina. Come on, come on. Show you guys that there are still awesome Star Wars comics and they're plentiful, guys. I mean, every week there's two to three titles. Well, I have two for you this week. All right. You have TIE Fighter number four, which is a really cool series. I was skeptical about it before it started. You can still get in on the ground floor because they're only at issue number four. And you have Dr. Afra number 34 is out today. All right. Now, that's it for the individual comics. I'm going to flip this around. And I'm going to show you guys Vintage Book of the Week. This is your Vintage Book of the Week, guys. Green Arrow, Green Lantern, awesome book. Sorry, guys. All right. Now, let's get into what I know Diana Rios is chomping at the bit to see. All right. I got some awesome, awesome pops and a lot of them, guys. Like, I'm going to show you guys like 11 pops. I took detailed pics of all of these. I'll be showing them to Diana, sending them to Diana Rios, and she will be posting them in Pop Union. Uh, pop goodness, a union network. I'm going to get shit for that. All right. But I took detailed pictures of every one of them. All right. The first one is really awesome, and I love this. I collect Rick and Morty Pops myself, and I love this one. This is Exoskeleton Snowball. This is friggin' awesome. All right. Loving this. And they got some other ones that are on the back that are really cool, but that one I love. I, I, I need to have this. All right. All right. Now, let's get into these other pops. All right. We just got in 10. I, I think it's the whole wave, actually. But 10 different Stranger Things pops. And I know it's hot right now. Everybody's binge watching them on Netflix. And it is a really good series. I'm only in the episode number three myself for the new season. I'm trying to spread them out because I don't want to have to wait a whole year to see it again. All right. But the first one you have is Will the Wise. And just to show you, it shows you all the other ones on the back. Will the Wise. You have Flayed Billy. Lucas. Battle Eleven. Hooper. Time I hear Hooper, I think of like a Burt Reynolds movie. Another eleven, the ponytail. Another eleven. Well, eleven, eleven, and eleven. So far, we're at thirty-three. <laughs> All right. You have Dustin, Erica. And Ahoy Steve. This might be my favorite one. I kind of dig this one. Frankie Flores, what's up, brother? All right. So that's all of the Stranger Things pops and the awesome Rick and Morty pop. And like I said, I took detailed pictures of each one of those, and I'll be sending those over to Diana Rios to post later in Pop Goodness. All right. Now, let's show you guys these awesome new toys that came in. They're more like not really toys or action figures. They're more like a Marquette. If you guys know what that is, it's kind of like, like a rubber plastic statue kind of deal. But these are really cool. These are DC collectibles. DC Artist Alley. And they're both by different... No, they're both by Chrissy Zullo. But these are really nice. All right. Little animated Johns. There's all the different ones they made. I only have two of them in the shop right now. But these are really, really cool, guys. And it's got what I love. I love boxes with a window box. All right. These are really cool. Yeah, I have the back girl. And 
the Wonder Woman. I really like the Wonder Woman. The Wonder Woman is dope. Those big doe eyes remind me of my girl. Um, anyway. All right. So that's all the toys I have to show you guys this week. By the way, I know I just showed you guys 11 pops. We got in so many more than that. All right. So I got pops to show you guys for weeks. It's like craziness. All right. So now let's get on to the finale of the show. Each week I show you guys Tiny Nerd Tees. New Comic Book Wednesdays wouldn't be New Comic Book Wednesday without a Tiny Nerd Tee. Well, I have two awesome ones to show you this week. All right. First, we got a killer New Mutants one in. Which I love. Deadpool right in the center. And this one is for me. Definitely need this shirt in my life. All right. Loving, loving, loving this. New Voltron shirt. So freaking dope. All right, guys. And with that being said, don't forget to check me out tonight at the Star Wars game. I'll be posting lots of pictures and videos. And if any of you guys are out there, come out and say hello to me. And with that being said, that about wraps it up for this episode of New Comic Book Wednesdays. Check us back here next week, same Bob time, same Bob channel, for episode number 222, my grandmother's birthday, of New Comic Book Wednesdays. And until then, don't forget, not only your toys, but your comics will always be safe. We'll always have a home in the union. I'm Bob Taylor. That's my bit. Peace, love, toys, and comics. I am out of here. Love you all.